Bangwaza debate himself as Obi Tinubu and Atiku failed to show up. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel to get notified when we post our juicy news updates. Please click on the notification bell. The absurdity that has characterized election debate in Nigeria read its ugly head again on Sunday, February 12th, 2023, when the new Nigeria's presidential when the new Nigeria's People's Party NMPP presidential candidate Rabi Ukwankwasa was left to debate himself, other candidates were a no-show. On the podium set up for the four leading candidates for, P for president, including P2B, Asiwaji Bola Ahmed Tunubu, and Atiku Abubakar of the Labour of the All Progressive Congress, and the People's Demo, okay, Asiwaji Bola Tunubu and Atiku Abubakar, and the P2B of the APC, PDP, and Labour Party, respectively, respectively, to discuss the platforms for Nigeria, the former governor of Kano State figure caught a lonesome figure. The Nigerian Election Debates Group, NEDG, and the Broadcasting Organization of Nigeria, BUN, jointly organized the presidential debate, which took place at the International Conference Center in Abuja. Regarding Nigerian election debates, this is by no means a recent occurrence since there are numerous instances of precedents in the past blatantly declining to accept invitation to debate. At the beginning of the campaign, Tenebo made a plain that he would not participate in any discussion organized by a body other than his campaign council, and he has since followed through on that promise. This may explain the all-progressive Congress presidential candidate's absence and in comparison to other reasons. The lack of information to that effect is less surprising. In the meantime, Obi, who had earlier in the day tweeted his intention to attend the program, gave an explanation for his non-appearance on Sunday and put the blame on a manufacturing aircraft. The Labour Party's nominee had reported the travel to Ndo State from which he intended to fly to Abuja for the debate. According to a statement released by the Obi Dati campaign organization on Sunday night, he was forced to divert to Lagos nevertheless when his aircraft unexpectedly encountered technical difficulties. He intended to travel to Abuja for the debate after a meeting in Akora on the state but was warned against it owing to the aircraft's medical difficulties, which led to the pilots to choose to fly Lagos instead. It must be recalled that prominent members of a campaign and the party has assembled at the International Conference Center Abuja, venue of the event in anticipation of Mr. B's arrival, the statement said. As for Atiku, as of the time this article was failed, neither his party nor campaign council had provided an explanation for why he declined the offer. This may, this may not be too likely given that the former vice president, like Tenebu, had previously declared that he will no longer honor invitation to debate. Now... Now, wow, this one, you know, you know, it's not, it doesn't, to me, you know, they're okay. When they hear debates, I don't know why, maybe that word debate is scary to them. It is you presenting yourself, selling yourself to the people. What are you going to do? And giving the people the opportunity to ask you, if you have said you are going to bring the moon down for them, how are you going to bring the moon down? If you have said they're going to stop insecurity, how are you going to go about it? If you have said, oh, you're going to make sure you gift a, a what's it called? Every student, if, you, if you're going to make sure you give every student in Nigeria money, how are you going to do that with this poor economy? It is time for you to sell your ideas over and over again. The vision of, um, that vision you see as a presidential candidate, you want to make Nigeria better. You are going to be able to sell it to these people. I don't know why they feel debates are actually a big deal. I don't know why. I don't know why they feel it is that way. Hmm? And, uh... It is actually, I find it actually wrong. Let me, Kong also tried, though, sincerely. Kong also tried. I think he's the only one that attended the debate and didn't keep the people waiting. But others, they don't try at all. Even though, when I put in an excuse, but believe you me, they don't try. Hmm? They don't try. As for CYJU and Atiku, they said they have said they will not be coming out to debate. Well, the people of Nigeria, they don't tell in the way in the one here. They said they are not going to come to sell themselves to you. That is what it means. There is nobody that will tell me that is not what it means. That is what it means. You are called. And even before you are called, you have already said in the past that, oh, you are not going to be able to come. Or you, you're not, you're not, going, to, you're not uh, going to come. What does it mean? It means that you know the, uh, what's in a call. It means that you don't want to sell yourself to the people now. In fact, it means that that position, not even the hungry you. It's just like you go for an interview or you submit your, your what's it called? Your, uh, your, your resume. Eh? And they call you for work. They submit your resume and your cover letter. And they call you for work and you're like, you're not going to go. 
brother, now people will go now they go get back to. Now people will go now they go, you know, now they go get, you know, now they go fit screen, now they go fit tell them, so yeah, oh, this one is okay, or this one is not okay. Now, so it's supposed to be. Hmm? And, uh, so even, <laughs> this particular debate, anyway, we are not going to go into that. I have said, in other news, Kwan Kwan came out and he was like, you know, he's the, he has been preparing for this, his presidential, uh, was a ambition for a long time. Okay. He has been. Now, like I said, um, like I said, any presidential candidates, we know, bring yourself out to make people recognize and make people know him. I mean, I don't see what we are doing with that particular presidential candidate. You are supposed to come out, sell yourself to us in the best possible manner, and at the end of the day, hmm, if you sell yourself to us and at the end of the day, um, we know that, okay, well, this person, we, are, we get convinced that, ah, this person at least, he did not just tell us super story, he gave us how he was going to be solving the problem. Hmm? Let's say, for instance, in your manifesto, you wrote that you were going to be, you're going to be handling power sector for, let's say, for three months. And then, you know, we get to ask you, okay, how are you going to do this? Let's say you come in and say, okay, you're going to be giving so-so and so amount of money to some group of people. You're going to call and ask you, so the thing is, the why factor. We're going to ask you a lot of questions. And we're going to see how, you know, you're able to sell yourself to us. You answering a question will be is a way to get him to know that oh this person. If you answer a question for us, that means maybe yes, you're genuinely ready. If you know answer a question for us, if you have the opinion saying that when you enter office, because there are some people who like now when they enter office now nah, and I'm saying so when you enter office now nah, you can't start today, think of what you will do for the people. It is not even supposed to be so at all at all. Alright. So at the end of the day, um, Obi then say Obi don't apologize. Obi say in aircraft get issue that he has to, you know, go back to Lagos and then, uh, but I think will never come as I can talk. To them will never come as I can talk. Even if now, okay. Even if now, oh, this one, you bring her for me, okay. Uh -huh, I don't hear. As they have not even come out to say, even though he has said it before, he has not come out to say, ah, okay, oh, this one, you, you know, come, oh, I'm sorry, I was not able to. And moreover, this is what I said earlier before. You understand, but no wahala. Nigeria, see, make I tell you now, say, now true, say, now we the vote, but now we the vote, it is a vote, it is a choice, but now, the consequences now every one of us. We go to, we go, uh, what's it called? All the consequences now every one of us will be around. I want us to have it at the front of our mind. All right, on those notes, we've come to the end of the news. We say thank you for sending in to listen. Until I come your way next time. Enjoy the rest of your day.